In our study of the gospel according to John, we will examine John chapter 5 from verse 10 to 15. The Jews therefore said to him who was cured, It is the Sabbath. It is not lawful for you to carry your bed. He answered them, He who made me well said to me, Take up your bed and walk. Then they asked him, Who is the man who said to you, take up your bed and walk? But the one who was healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had withdrawn, a multitude being in that place. Afterward, Jesus found him in the temple and said to him, See, you have been made well, seen no more, lest a worse thing come upon you. The man departed and told the Jews that it was Jesus who had made him well. That I might know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering that I might attain unto the resurrection of the dead that I might apprehend that which I've been apprehended for. The Jews remembered the word of the Lord through the prophet Jeremiah. In Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 21. This is what the Lord says. Take heed for yourselves. Do not carry a load or bring it through the gates of Jerusalem on the Sabbath day. On the face of it, prima facie, The man appeared to be breaking the law of God. But the Jews in their high-mindedness and fake piousness failed to see the full counsel of God in his law. In Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 21, the Lord was speaking of the renewal of the Sabbath. But here, walking in their midst and talking with them, was the Lord of the Sabbath himself, the promised rest from God, Jesus Christ, the Son of God. While the Jews were bickering about the healed man carrying his bed and walking, they failed to see and to understand that before their very eyes was the fulfillment of the Sabbath rest when the Lord Jesus removed the heavy load of sin and infirmity from the man. So they said to the man, It is the Sabbath. It is not lawful for you to carry your bed. One might have expected from human hearts wonder and thankfulness that the man could walk at all. But on the contrary, we see that the real debilitating condition of infirmity laid in the hearts and thoughts of the Jews. Formalism, due to a pious arrogance, had bound the letter round their hearts and made them cruel and impervious to the work of God. Instead of rejoicing with the man delivered, they murmured that he carried his bed on the Sabbath. The man answered them and said, He who made me well said to me, Take up your bed and walk. He based the authority for his actions on the strength of the divine voice who issued the command. This was a command he could not disobey. Surely the healer must know what is right. So the Jews replied, Who is this man who told you, to pick it up and walk. The Jews ignored the work of healing and mercy 
and rather seek to lay a charge of criminality against the healer. To the Jews, a technical offense has been done against their rabbinic laws. The work of healing is an insignificant compensation for such a disgrace. So they asked, who is the man engrossed in the wickedness of their hearts, masquerading as fidelity to the law of God, having no clue that on the day of rest, Christ has come to give rest, to set the captives free. Indeed, Christ is the Sabbath rest. When Jesus later found the man in the temple, the Lord issued a dire warning and said, You have been made well, sin no more, lest a worse thing come upon you. The path to a life of infirmity and a wretched condition is sin. Sin is the open door to misery, insanity, and death. The Lord is saying that there is something worse than 38 years of physical infirmity. He gives the command to sin no more, implying that it lies within the ability of the man who has received the command of mercy and grace to take up your bed and walk to also sin no more. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 16 Wash and cleanse yourselves. Remove your evil deeds from my sight. Stop doing evil. And again in James chapter 4 verse 8, Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. The redeemed of the Lord have the power to become the sons of God. To the recipient of divine grace is divine strength to sin no more. At Bethesda, in the house of mercy, the Lord has shown his loving kindness and tender mercies in saying, Take up your bed and walk. And with this comes the power to become sons, the power to sin no more. In the house of mercy, we receive strength to actively and rigorously vanquish sin in our lives. And this we will do in the power of Christ. We stand. That I might know him and the power of his resurrection. And the fellowship of his suffering being conformed unto his death, that I might apprehend that which I've been apprehended for. Apprehended for being conformed unto his death, that I might apprehend that which I've been apprehended for. Oh, that I might apprehend that which I've been apprehended for.